Hi, I'm Emil Wurstler, and I'm a PRS Artist Relations Rep based in Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're here to talk about the NF53 and the SENF3, how they're alike and how they're different. The NF53 is based on one of Paul's favorite vintage guitars from 1953. And that's where 53 in the name comes from, NF53. It has a very familiar shape and layout for fans of the T-style guitars. The SENF3 is a guitar that's existed before in the previous lineup, but now is in an SE form, which brings narrow field pickups to the SE series for the first time. The NF in each model's name stands for narrow field. The narrow field pickups were designed by Paul Reed Smith and a team at PRS Guitars to sense a narrower field of the strings vibrations, sounding extremely similar to a single coil pickup. However, they're noiseless humbuckers, which are great for players that are looking for a thicker sound and to avoid 60 cycle hum. So let's talk about other things these guitars have in common. Both guitars feature bolt-on neck with bird inlays, 10-inch radius, and 22 frets. Besides having NF in their name, that's about all these guitars have in common. They're actually quite different, so let's dig into what sets these models apart. Starting with the body wood, the SE NF3 has a poplar body, whereas the NF53 has a swamp ash body. And looking at the body shape, you can see they're both quite different as well. Looking at the neck, the SE NF3 has a 25 inch scale length, whereas the NF53 has a 25 and a half inch scale length. I get asked a lot in the artist showroom in Nashville, the differences of scale length and the effect that it may have. Naturally, I'm a fan of the 25 inch scale length. That's the standard PRS scale length. But the 25 and a half inch scale length is pretty integral to the T-style sound for fans of that style of guitar. And under your fingers, it's gonna have more kind of a tighter feel and more of a spank or a pop to the actual tone. The SE NF3 has a wide thin neck where the NF53 has a pattern 53 neck, which is based on one of Paul's favorite vintage guitars. When it comes to the fretboard, the NF53 is available in maple, whereas the SE NF3 is available in rosewood and maple. Another thing that really sets these models apart is the PRS patented tremolo on the SE NF3, whereas the NF53 has a plate style steel bridge. Taking a look at the headstock, the SE NF3 features PRS design tuners versus the NF53's vintage style non-locking tuners. Finally, let's close on what might be the most significant differences between the two models. And that would be the controls and the electronics layout. The SE NF3 features a volume, a tone knob, and a five-way blade switch. Obviously, the guitar has three narrow field pickups and the five-way blade switch helps players achieve a wider variety of tones. The NF53 features a volume tone and a three-way blade switch. A super simple and comfortable layout for players that are familiar with the style of guitar. We've been talking for a while, so I think the best way to compare these is to just play it through the clean channel of the Sanzera. So now we're gonna try out both guitars in the treble position. And now we're going to check out the bass position on both guitars. So now we're going to check out both guitars in the middle position. On the SE NF3, it's going to be the actual middle pickup on the guitar, where on the NF53, it's going to be both pickups combined. Thank you. 
right, so now we're gonna check out the second position on the SE NF3 with some tremolo work. And finally, let's check out the fourth position with some note you're playing. I hope this video helps you understand the differences and similarities between these two guitars. For more information, go to prsguitars.com. Thanks for watching.